Hi, my name is Natalie Romero. I'm the Director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministry here at Ascension. I am coming to you with April 29th's Reflection from Jesus' is Calling. If you have not been able to see the introduction from Vicki Elfers or the reflections from her and Pastor Justin Lathrop, you can do so by going back to the YouTube channel and looking at Jesus' is Calling um, for the other dates. I am going to read the devotional. It's in the perspective of God. And then I'm going to share a couple Bible verses and my reflection with some prayers. So April 29th reads, Let me teach you thankfulness. Begin by acknowledging that everything, all your possessions and all that you are belongs to me. The dawning of each day is a gift from me, not to be gr taken for granted. The earth is vibrantly alive with my blessings, giving vivid testimony to my presence. If you slow down your pace of life, you can find me anywhere. Some of my most precious children have been laid aside in sick beds or shut away in prisons. Others have voluntarily learned the discipline of spending time alone with me. The secret of being thankful is learning to see everything from my perspective. My world is your classroom. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Of course, that's referring to Psalm 19, 105. The word is a lamp to your feet and a light to my path. And also from Hebrews 12, verse 28 through 29. So let us be thankful because we have a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We should worship God in the way that pleases him with respect and fear because our God is like a fire that burns things up for myself looking at each piece of this it's been hard to be thankful I am thankful that I am in my home and I am healthy and my family is healthy but it's really difficult to not take those days for granted to get into a routine I know for myself, I don't feel like my life has slowed down at all. I feel like it's gotten more and more hectic between homeschooling and caring for my household while my husband's still an essential employee and continuing to minister to others. It can be very tiring and it's hard to see God's presence. I'm going to share a story and I'm not going to name any names um, that for me, I the last five or six weeks, I've had a hard time with seeing where God is. There are little moments where I have seen God in my daughters and the way that they care for each other and they care for my husband and I. Um, but this specific uh, situation, I was um, trying to help and kind of be on the back end of things um, and to be able to see God's work and, and God's presence um, so we have a couple families in our congregation that are financially struggling and really having a hard time, whether they aren't able to collect unemployment or they haven't received any unemployment yet, um, trying to feed their families and pay bills and being threatened by landlords. Um, and so I, when this first happened, I had set out, a um, Facebook post on my personal page of anyone that was willing to go shopping um, for anyone that needed it. And um, a person in particular that I have grown close with over the years at Ascension um, was one of the many people that had volunteered. And that person's name just stuck in my head. And, and when a few weeks had gone by and we really didn't have a lot of people asking for um, anyone to go shopping. Um, I didn't really reach out to anyone and say, I didn't follow up with anyone. And so as we were talking with our staff about different families and different um, opportunities, um, there was someone that had some money left over on a Thrive in Action team card. There were people that were willing to donate money specifically for families that were in need. And our food pantry is fully stocked right now, and that's a great blessing to have. And so we were able to get the names of these three families and what their needs were. And 
I created a shopping list and Vicki Elfers collected um, items from the food pantry. And this individual, again, knowing that there were many other people willing to shop, that person's name was just on my heart. And I texted them and they immediately said, yes, I will tomorrow. This is perfect. And that person was willing to take their time and risk their life to go grocery shopping for these three families and deliver food and pick up food from the food pantry at church. And for myself, that was something that I needed. I needed to see that God was actually working in this situation. Um, I can surfacely say that, yes, I've seen moments where I feel God's presence or I feel like we're going to have a, a, a learning, um, just like in this um, in this reflection, in this devotional, it says, my world is my classroom, is your classroom. And as much as I feel that, I also haven't left my house and I'm trying to take care of kids. And so it's hard to see those moments where God is present. And after being able to hear that these families were so thankful and that this person who did this shopping felt so appreciated and felt like they had a place here and had a had a purpose here at Ascension and also just from sitting around and, and being quarantined, it was such a blessing and that was a moment that I could say, God is here. I can be thankful for God's presence. And to be able to be a part of that was was huge for myself. Um, and to be able to share that with you and to be able to say Ascension is still working tirelessly to help communities and help families. It's just an amazing thing. So if you could join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our our ministry here at Ascension. We thank you for every day we will work to not take days for granted. Thank you for the experiences that we can see your presence. We pray for those who feel like they don't see your presence. We pray for those who are lonely. We ask that you are with them. Wrap them in your love. In your name we pray. Amen.